and a very warm welcome to Youth Express. In this edition, we get you three different segments, all as colorful as the balloons behind me, trying to tap the energy of the youth to the fullest. The first segment talks about the participation of the youth in a college festival. The second one talks about youth being the peace ambassadors. And the third helps them connect with the Indian Armed Forces. College festivals are great fun, but they're also a big opportunity for the youngsters to showcase their creativity and innovation. We are here at the NSIT campus, New Delhi. NSIT is the Netaji Subhash Institute of Technology, which is one of the top engineering colleges of India. Apart from the academic engineering courses, every year it also hosts the festival. Innovision, which is the techno managerial festival, and the cultural festival, Moksha. Uh, this festival is really great for uh, like different colleges come here and participate and we have uh, so much fun. We have beach night also and different events taking place. and. Uh, it's a very nice atmosphere here. How do you think Shubra participation in this festival helps the youth improve their personality? They learn to manage different uh, events and taking place here and uh, musicians come here. We, ha we had Edward Maya last night. So, yeah, there's... Uh, and this helps you in your academics also? Academics, yeah, like quiz. It's, uh, so we have, like, it's related to our academics only, so... See beautiful flowers uh, right behind. Entire campus of yours has beautiful flowers. So students are conscious about the environment? Not really conscious, but it's like uh, the scenic beauty is here, you know, the flowers and all. So when people come from outside, they admire our college, ki, the beauty and all. So Do you think when you were the fresher last year and you had your first moksha experience and now that you're in the second year, how have things changed? Things? Um, the fest has obviously become better. We have more of sponsorships coming from uh, different uh, companies and all. and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like the level is increasing. Uh, it's increasing every year. And increased participation from students from different colleges. Exactly. So different, like more and more colleges are willing to take part, like participate in this uh, the events taking place. So it's nice. like this helps a lot of people to socialize as you said we're all from different branches and it's like a platform for getting everybody together everybody to socialize and have uh, good fun <laughs>
actually provide us a plethora of uh, you know uh, talent and uh, we uh, are able to show showcase our talent to a large number of audience this uh, only provides us to uh, you know open ourselves to large number of people uh, so yes uh, they are these events are very helpful for us Although we are ingenious at heart, but we also are artists. Like I personally do theater, and I've been doing this for quite a long time. So in my college life, if I don't get opportunities like these, and other colleges also don't provide opportunities like these, we would be just like bookworms, metallic robots. So these events help us to bring out the other aspects of our life. Engineering does not mean only studies. We have fests like these uh, so that we get a good break and we also get a good exposure to all these uh, organizing uh, different fests. It has been a wonderful event, I would say. Uh, I have fully enjoyed this, you know. The last past two days have been really great, you know. Uh, Edward Maya came to our college and it has been a, you know, a blast, you can say that. We had a crowd of 12,000 people yesterday and to handle such a crowd, a lot of logistical requirements have to be met. A lot of, um, we had around 40 members of the organizing team who were deployed just to handle the crowd, just to handle the kind of scale the event was in. And uh, a lot of effort has been, has been going on since the past three months just to organize a festival of uh, a scale of this level. And uh, we, we, had, we had around 50, 60 sponsors, around 150 participating teams who came into the campus, seeing their, uh, being a good host to, be playing a good host to them and uh, making sure that they enjoy their time here as well along with the crowd. A lot of effort goes into it. Pressure from the studies and exams that we are constantly going through. Just a week before we have our exams and uh, having come in, in this fest has been a very very good break and uh, we've been enjoying a lot with our friends and we get to meet our old school friends, our teachers and people from various colleges and we get to interact with a lot of people. नेशनल कंपटीशन होता है फॉर्मूला ऐसे ही के नाम से उसमें हर कॉलेज की टीम होती है 24 25 लोगों की और वो अपनी कार ऐसे फैब्रिकेट करते हैं तो हमने उसी के लिए इसे एकदम स्टार्ट से खुद ही हमने इसको फैब्रिकेट किया है रॉयल एनफील्ड का इंजन इसमें है और ये रनिंग कार है हमारे हमारे 25 लोगों की टीम थी और हमने 2 साल के ऊपर इसका इसको बनाया था काफी सक्सेसफुल रहा हम इसे चेन्नई ले गए थे वहां पे कंपटीशन हुआ था तो इंडिया से 200 टीम आई थी और उसमें हम 21st आए थे और ये आज तक कॉलेज का हमारा बेस्ट रैंक रहा है With us now is Professor Yogesh Singh, Director, Netaji Subhash Institute of Technology. Professor, thank you so much for speaking to us uh, on Youth Express. Tell us, ever since uh, NSIT was founded in 1983, how has the institute evolved over all these years? NSIT was established by Government of Delhi in 1983. 
it's a very prestigious engineering institution of the country. When it comes to ranking, it comes uh, somewhere between 10 to 30. Depends upon, depending upon the year to year. But it's a very, very prestigious institution. We are admitting students through joint entrance examination. So it was established, named as DIT initially, Delhi Institute of Technology. But after a few years, government decided to rename it as Nitaji Subhash Institute of Technology. And uh, in 1997, we shifted to this place, which is a very, very beautiful place, 145 acre land. And uh, 3,500 students are studying here. From undergraduate, we have about 3,000 students. Then uh, about uh, 300 students are postgraduate students, and 100 plus students are research students, doctorate students. So innovation is about innovation. What about the other cultural festival, Moksha? Somewhere in our education system, creativity is missing. So we want to provide platform where they can show their projects, they can experiment, they can uh, show their talent. And when it comes to organizational and teamwork, you know, worldwide people are saying, Indians are best as individuals. But when it comes to team performance, there is a big question. So such festivals, help them to understand the importance of teamwork, importance of organizations, importance of leadership, and importance to understand that success and failures are part of life. If you could not win, fine. Not, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. It's part of life. That helps them to grasp the pain of failures. So festival is much beyond the fun and the energy that we see. It helps us understand life better. Oh yes, it understands life better, understand the implications and complexity of life. And then, like here, uh, 50 colleges are participating in different events. Yesterday was a show where about 12,000 students were on the campus. Organization was not easy, but our students could do it. It's remarkable and uh, from this platform, I would like to congratulate all our students and the participants who could make this function as a grant. And we see many colors here at the NSIT campus uh, with beautiful flowers in full bloom. So the budding engineers of tomorrow who graduate from NSIT are also taught uh, being eco-friendly and environment friendly. Yes. Reason, you know, ours is a 145 acre campus. We are very, very lucky and thankful to government of Delhi who could provide us 145 acre in Delhi, heart of Delhi. And our horticulture department is the best department in Delhi. And the example and the result is you can see our gardens, flowers and so many other things. Professor Singh, what's your message to all the youngsters who are watching this edition of Youth Express? Why should they participate in a college festival? You know, uh, the, the best part is the participation. They understand and experience different ways of life. They interact with the uh, students of other colleges. When it comes to the academic interaction, fine. But in addition to the academic interaction, they interact through uh, various cultural activities. It's a fun, it's a lifetime experience. And the, 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 the biggest message is, you know, when 10 teams are participating, only one team will win. Nothing happens, it's a part of life. So participation is more important, extremely important than winning a game. Gee, Professor Yogesh, students, what do you want You know, life is full of surprises. Life is full of life. So we should take everything very lightly. Although, although difficulties will come, someone has very rightly said, Wo path kya pathik kushalta kya? Wo path kya pathik kushalta kya? Jis path mein vikre shul na ho, navik ki dhere pariksha kya? Yadi baadhaayen pratikool na ho. So participation in academics is very important, but participation in college fest also teaches us many aspects of life. It was one